What is going on guys? My name is Duan Bian and I'm here to bring you a video on how to grow that chest. The best key exercises you should be doing in order to grow that chest. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. All right, first of all, guys, it's really important to warm up the shoulders. We need to start off by warming up. Now, it's a quick little warm up that I like to do. I like to grab something light. So in this case, I grab a resistance band and I just take my shoulders through this range of motion. And I do that a few times just to help get the blood flowing and to help prevent injury and to warm it up. As well as that first movement that I did, I like to also warm up my rear delts as well. So the way I do that is rear delt flies basically. One way you can do them is with your palm facing down, but alternatively, face your palms up, go through the motion of a reverse fly, and that way I find I can get a better stretch and a better contraction with the rear delts. We're in this for the long game. We're, we're not in this for the short term. We're, we're here to stay healthy and to make our body be as strong and as healthy as possible for as long as possible. By warming up, you get plenty of benefits and it just takes five minutes. All right, now the first exercise to build that really big, nice chest is the classic bench press. Starting the bench press, it is important to make sure that you retract the shoulder blades. Now this will help ensure you're stable, you have a nice solid stable base and that the chest is activated as much as it can be. You might be wondering, how far wide, where should I put my hands? The simple answer is whatever really feels comfortable. For most people, it's about shoulder width. Now, just so you know, the wider grip you go, the more chest you use, the more narrow grip, the more emphasis it is on your triceps. Now we're getting on to the actual bench press. It is important to make sure that you have a bit of an arch in your back as well when performing the movement. Now the arch helps along with the retraction of the shoulder blades that helps provide a solid base and activation of pectoral muscles. You want to make sure you bring it down all the way to the lowest part of your pec just where it ends and then push it all the way up except what you want to try to do is not go all the way straight up but have a bit of a curve. By doing so it helps activate the chest you can still get away properly with pressing all the way vertically straight up, although it is not as efficient. Don't forget to re-rack your weight safely. Some advantages of the bench press is that it's easier to keep track of progressive overload. You can still keep track of progressive overload with the dumbbells, but this way it's a compound movement and some people prefer it. Those are the tips for the bench press. Now I think we should move on to the next one. Next exercise to build that killer chest is the dumbbell variation of the chest press. The main difference here is that we are using dumbbells over the barbell. I personally like both, but I feel like sometimes I can get a better mind muscle connection going with the dumbbells itself, pushing it through its full range of motion. Getting it up safely, I would recommend sort of doing a mini deadlift, depending on how heavy you're going. I'm doing a safe weight that I can manage efficiently. Keep your back straight, make sure you have a good solid posture when picking it up and then just rest it on your thighs. And then from there in that position, you want to just kick up the dumbbells where it just hits your chest and lean back. And then as you're doing so, you kind of can feel the force pushing you back into that position. And then from there, you should be able to push up the weight in the same range of motion as you would the barbell bench press. There's really two ways you can finish the movement off. Depending on how heavy you are going, you can really just drop the weights and push them onto the side. Or there is another way, instead of just dropping them to the side, if you're doing a weight you can safely manage and you're not going too hard, you can really just push the weight onto your thighs and catch it with your thighs and jump all the way up. That way it can be considered a bit more safe than dropping the dumbbells. And as I'm using these adjustable dumbbells, I try not to throw them on the floor too much as 
they can be a bit more delicate than regular gym dumbbells. That is the second key exercise building that killer chest of yours. Let's get into the next one. The next exercise is the dumbbell flies. Usually when you're doing flies, you probably couldn't do as heavy as you could do presses. Pick them up the same way as you would a heavy dumbbell and just to make sure that you're safe. Essentially this movement, think about hugging a tree, hugging a big thick tree, but you go low enough to feel that nice stretch in the chest. Go at your own pace. You can go nice and slow if you like to feel that nice contraction and then not to let the dumbbells touch because it helps give you more control over the weight. There is a bit of a misconception, I do have to say. A lot of people do think that the flies actually work and target that inner portion of your chest, where in fact, it just targets the mid chest. Quick anatomy lesson, the chest muscle, it's split into three sections, upper, mid, and lower portion of the chest. All the exercises that are performed on a flat surface emphasizes on the actual middle part of the pec. As we get onto later in the video, dips, they actually work more on the lower pec when you angle your body forward a little bit so you can get a nice, well-rounded, aesthetic chest. And that is another key exercise to incorporate into your workout to help build that nice, thick, juicy chest. Next exercise, classic old dips. This is an interesting movement because this is one of the movements that actually target the lower portion of your chest. Instead of just doing the boring old decline bench press, I like this movement because it's very unique and there's a few options you can play around with. Eventually, as you start to get stronger, you can add more weight. So if you have access to a dip belt, they're not too expensive. You can add one in and then you can slowly add more and more weight. The key tips here, guys, if you're doing a dip and you're just going vertical, just up and down, that'll really put a lot more emphasis on your triceps than your chest. Now, when you're trying to focus on your chest, it is important to try and lean as forward as you can. And this way, the angle actually focuses more on the lower portion of the chest. I'd also like to point out, you can get a bit creative. Since I'm using a bit of home stuff, I've got a bit of a home gym setup going. If you guys have some sort of chairs that have a decent solid height, as you can sort of see as well, I've actually got some tea towels to give me more support. I'd also like to point out that chairs alone may be a little dangerous. I've placed some weight on the chairs just to give them a bit more stability when performing the movement. If you do this for about three to four sets, you go about eight to 10 to 12 reps, push yourselves as hard as you can. Trust me, you'll be seeing results. Now, moving on to our next exercise, the push-ups. Really, it's quite simple. You just wanna get into a nice plank position, push yourselves down, or let gravity take you to the floor and push yourselves back up. The muscle groups being worked are essentially the front delts, front part of the shoulders, the triceps, and of course, the chest. Now, I like to use this at the end of my chest session as it's a nice lightweight, just pure body weight, and I'm able to pump out as many reps as possible till failure and get to that fatigue point where I know that I'm pushing myself to my limit and helping my body adapt to get bigger and stronger and grow that nice, thick, juicy chest. Positives with this movement is that there's a bit of variety in a sense that you can do flat push-ups, you can even do incline push-ups, and then you can do decline push-ups the drawback to the push-up, I find that it's much harder to add weight compared to many of the other exercises. It is possible to add weight, don't get me wrong. You can add weight through a backpack and chuck in some plates in there to really help make it harder. If you're up for that challenge, by all means, go right ahead. But I find that it's just unnecessarily challenging for the result that I want to get. I like to use the push-ups as either a, a nice chest warm-up at the beginning before my chest session or as a finisher. There you have it guys. Those are the key exercises you should be doing in order to help grow that chest. Now, if you guys wanna see more videos, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know whether you like it, you know, all that good stuff guys. And also just letting you know, I do have a Fiverr page up there. Now, a quick little thing is that Fiverr, I do a few voiceovers on Fiverr. So if you wanna check out my page, it's linked down below in the description. You know, be sure to let everyone know if you need a few voiceovers done, I can do that for you too. Till next time, stay safe, take care, see you then.
pump out as many reps as possible, go to failure and really just try and push myself to my limit. Round Joe took you three to five push-ups to failure, but all right. <laughs> Now in this video, for video purposes only, I've only done a few reps as demonstration. 